All right, guys, I got my frame and I have my moth and I'm ready to make this piece and show you how it's done. So um, I have different types of moths that I'm gonna talk about. And this is all the stuff that was left over from the huge piece that I made. So this type of moss is just loose moss, okay? And I use this to put around the big fat pieces of moss. And um, my lovely husband convinced me to put a couple fake pieces of moss in there. So um, we bought these and I'm actually very happy that we did because I think that um, it filled in different spots nicely. So just to let you know, 90% of my piece, the big piece, is real preserved moss. And then I have a small amount of these inside of the piece. Um, and I really feel like it, get, it added to it. It gave it a really clean look. This is called mood moss, and it comes in chunks like this. And um, the back of it is obviously dirt. So when we're putting these pieces on, you're going to have to shake it up a little bit and you might have to brush a little bit of the dirt off because, you know, it's caked on. And um, there's sheet moss. Sheet moss, obviously, is exactly what the name is. It's like a sheet of moss. And I put this around the, the chunky part. And so those are the types of moss that we're gonna be using today. And at the end of making the moss piece, what I also do is I add preserved fern. And so um, I went online, I literally just looked up different types of preserved ferns and I just purchased them based off of the look and what I liked. So there's your typical fern right here. There's just all different kinds. So you can definitely go online and choose what you want, what you find attractive and put it in your piece. Now, as far as where do I get my stuff? Um, I got a good amount of my product on Amazon and I made sure to type in the word bulk because I was creating a big piece. But if you're doing a tiny piece, you don't have to type in the word bulk. You can get it in smaller amounts and you can even go to Michael's or Joann's and go in the potting section the, where they have the fake plants and you can get moss in small sheets or, you know, get different types of moss in a pack that's much smaller for your much smaller project. Now, I'm going to keep it real here because obviously I care about you guys and I want to make sure that you get the right product and, you know, be treated well. I actually went through this company originally called Mr. Big and one thing I will say is that the quality of their moss was beautiful, but they advertised it as a four pound box and they only sent me two pounds and I was not happy with that because I had such a large piece and considering how much money they charge you for the moss, it was unfortunate that I had to go and find more moss somewhere else in order to finish my piece. So I wouldn't suggest that company. All right, so last but not least, if you want something in the center of your artwork to create a statement, um, I would suggest some sticks or even some stones, but they don't break bones, right? So anyway, this stick right here, came from outside, it's free. So go outside, explore, find some pieces that you'd love to put in your artwork, and that's how you create it. So I think I wanna put it in the middle, something like that. Now, as far as blue, because that, that is one thing I need to talk about. Um, I use Liquid Nail Projects Glue. And um, you're obviously gonna need um, the gun to hold it so that you can squeeze your glue out. And um, as far as a stick, a stick is heavier than the moss. So you might want to um, use a glue gun because the glue gun dries pretty fast and glue it in place before you start putting your project glue because the project glue takes longer to dry. And so if I want to keep this in place, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a glue gun to uh, keep it there so that I can build around it. But for now, we're going to start with and I'm gonna go ahead and get started in putting these pieces in. So I go ahead and I put my glue down. I'm gonna go ahead and smush this into this corner. Make sure you press hard so it gets in that glue. 
and see how this this is the roots of it but I don't want all the yucky brown inside of my piece so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off and I like to smear it into the next part so that it really uh, gets a lot of glue on the bottom of it so it makes sure that it sticks um, but you can see it's a nice contrast between the two greens we can even put some short pieces what I love about this flat edge is that since it has a flat edge it's perfect for the edge of the frame and if you have spots where it's empty that is totally fine because we're gonna go ahead and use the loose moss to stick between those spaces So I'll just go ahead and show you right now so you could kind of see what I'm talking about. But I have this nice loose moss and I'm gonna dip the, the glue down in there and just shove it in there. I'm gonna find another piece. Sometimes the pieces aren't perfect. Sometimes these pieces fall apart totally fine because you can just manipulate them into whatever shape you want I think this is a perfect corner piece so that's why I ripped that off because I want to literally stick it in this corner and so you might have to move that piece a little bit to kind of tuck it in there there we go so I think that I'm gonna take this one and put it down here Make sure to get rid of that the dirt so that this thing sticks good. And I'm gonna use this for the corner. And you can kind of manipulate it. So as you can see, there's a lot of dirt on the bottom of the moss. So it can be a pretty messy process, so be prepared to vacuum. And so now that I have this little skinny spot, I gotta find something to stick between there. I think this piece is perfect. So, let me add some more glue. And again, sometimes you might have to lift it up to get something in there. And I just love this furry stuff. I'm gonna take that and stick that right in the corner.
right, you guys. So just double check for any spots that you might be missing. Like right down in here, there's a little part that is showing. I'm gonna take some of that glue, shove it in there. I'm gonna double check, see, there's missing spots right there. So I'm gonna grab some more of the loose moss. Just add a little bit of glue. And there we go, I think, oh, one more spot. There is gonna be a time period that your piece is shedding for a little bit, but it's totally fine. Once you brush off all the extra dirt, it should be good once it's hung up on the wall. Voila, all done. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. This is on how to make a moss art piece. Oh wait, you know what? Halt. Do you want to add a piece of fern? Let's see what we got here. Can always add a fern. Makes it so pretty, huh? Yeah, I think we might have to add something like that. Oh yeah, we gotta do it, sorry. We're not done. Okay, so what I do, um, you can use a glue gun or if you're freshly working on your piece and it's still wet underneath there, you can literally insert because the, the, the fern is preserved and the edge of the, the stem is very stiff and you can literally just shove it under there and it will stay. And then with this piece, um, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the stem off. I'm gonna see if I can shove it under there too. There we go. And those are my two, my two pieces of fern. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast making it, it was super fun. And you know what? I'm gonna give you, I think that I'm going to give this away. So make sure that you head over to my Instagram at Willamette Props to see the details on how you could possibly win this piece.